Team, the Watford fan channel. Um, I'm back today for a video that I didn't really want to make, and it's a video regarding Mark Silver and Gino Pozzo. Now, they are both um, they're at rock bottom. The relationship is pretty much over um, between them, according to the Watford Observer. Even though Mark Silver has spoke highly of Gino, um, this just adds to the amount of problems we have at the minute. Injuries, the breakdown between um, Silver and Giraldi, um, now Silver and the Pozzos. When, when is Silver really going to go? And I think that's the question we, on everyone's lips at the minute. Is Silver going to leave if we lose against Leicester? Now, that's a really, really big shout. A lot of people are starting to question it now. Do we just bring in an interim appointment to the end of the season, get ourselves safe and not risk us going down this season? Now, really, I do advise you, uh, from my point of view, I think we are in a relegation battle now. I know a lot of people are trying to put it off. They're trying to say, you know what, if we, lo if we lose against Leicester and Stoke, then we're in a relegation battle. If we do this or that, we're in a relegation battle. For me... At this point in the season, we are in a relegation battle. I think we all have to believe that now. After winning back-to-back -back games against West Ham and Newcastle, we've won one game in our last nine. That is relegation form. We are 17th in the form table in the last six games. And frankly, we are slipping down the table gradually. I know the table. That I know in terms of position, it's not too bad. But points to be six points off Stoke City. Um, and considering we're playing them in our, in our next game after Leicester, it is worrying times uh, for Watford at the minute. I'm really, really am worried. The breakdown in relationship between Silva and the Pozzos, the breakdown in relationship for me between Silva and Giraldi, the lack of consistency in press conferences regarding transfers, just regarding everything at the minute. Injuries, the medical team has to be questioned. I think we're going through a crisis at the minute. I think we really need to sort it out. Whether getting rid of Mark Silva is the right decision, I don't really know. I think either he will resign or he will get sacked. I think the fact that the Pozzos are they're ruthless. The Pozzos are ruthless. And if something's not going right, they will change change manager. And I think whether that's a good thing or the wrong thing, I'm not too sure. But if they've got a replacement lined up for Mark, after Marcus Silva to bring in someone who can just keep us up this season and um, with the squad we've got the minute, Giraldi's made it clear to Marcus Silva and the Watford fans that we won't be bringing in anyone, uh, any, any major signings in this window. And that's really interesting for me, whether he just wants to scrape over the 40-point line, whether they've got someone lined up in as a replacement for Marcus Silva or they feel Marcus Silva's the right man to take us forward. I don't think the latter is what they're thinking at the minute. I always want to stay positive going into the next few fixtures, but we've got Leicester, and I can't really see us getting anything out of them. If we win, then everything's looking better again. But our oh, poor run of form doesn't fill me with any confidence. I know we won against them on Boxing Day, but frankly, that was a scra that was a scrappy win. Um, fair, we, we played well. It was good to grind out a result. I was very happy. It wasn't our best game, but to get a result was very good. But I don't know whether that was down to Leicester being that poor on the day. Um, clearly they have improved under Claude Puel and then we go to Stoke City with Paul Lambert as their new manager so it's really really um, interesting times what for the next two games I think really does define our season because if we lose our next two games I honestly think Silva could go I really do think he could go because that just like, like I said the lack of relationship between him and Giraldi uh, Gino um, is telling it really is telling and the poor run of form I think the players in the dressing room have lost faith and um, there were reports coming out um, out of an article saying when Mark Silva wanted to go to Everton, the players wanted to, some players wanted to follow him. I don't know those players at the minute, but it's so interesting that these reports are coming out now and whether we are starting to liberate whether Mark Silva, he obviously isn't here for the long haul. Um, he obviously wanted to stay here, get his uh, CV up and then leave at the end of the season. It's really weird with the signings because I do actually back Mark Silva with this one because he's obviously said there's a list of players he wants to bring in. There's players that he does need to bring in because we have, do have a whole host of injuries. We have brought in a new medical director to see if those injuries are as long as we thought. But with Marcus Silva, I do think it's interesting to see whether he has a list of players that Jarry just rejected and come out and said, we're not going to sign anyone. I mean, last January, we brought in Cleverly and Niang and they effectively kept us up because they were impact signings. Let me know what you think of my thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think we're in a relegation battle? Do you think Marcus Silva needs to go? And who's right, Giraldi, Silva? And what do you make of the uh, Pozzo Silva situation? Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe so you don't miss any more what fan content. Sorry I deleted the transfer daily yesterday. We had a few technical difficulties. And uh, no preferred lineup today, obviously, due to this video because there was breaking news from the Watford Observer. So I thought I'd address it in this video. Um, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for some match previews.